Ever wondered how to make the perfect cup of coffee? Well, let's brew up some knowledge. The journey to that perfect cup begins with choosing the right coffee beans. You see, not all beans are created equal. Arabica beans, for instance, are often considered the creme de la creme of coffee beans. They're known for their sweeter, softer taste with delightful tones of sugar, fruit, and berries. Their complexity and balance can elevate your morning cup from a simple caffeine fix to a sensory experience. But here's the thing, coffee is a very personal matter. While Arabica beans are highly praised, they might not be everyone's cup of, well, coffee. You might prefer the strong, robust flavors of Robusta or the delicate, mild notes of Liberica. And that's perfectly fine. The beauty of the coffee world lies in its diversity. So, don't hesitate to experiment with different beans and find your personal favorite. Remember, the journey to a perfect cup of coffee begins with the right beans. Scene script. Got your beans? Great, now let's grind. The journey to a flavorful cup of coffee is not just about the beans, it's also about the grind. Grinding your coffee beans properly is a crucial step in the coffee making process. It's like a secret weapon to unlock the full potential of your beans. You see, the size of your grind can significantly affect the taste of your coffee. For instance, a finer grind can extract more flavor from the beans but go too fine and you might end up with a bitter taste. On the other hand, a coarser grind can give you a weak flavor. It's all about finding a balance. If you want consistency in your grind, consider using a burr grinder. These grinders crush your beans between two burrs, providing a uniform grind and ultimately a better extraction of flavors. Remember, the perfect grind sets the stage for a flavorful cup of coffee. Now let's talk about water, the unsung hero of a great cup of coffee. You might think it's all about the beans, the grind, the method, but water, it's the quiet game changer. Quality matters, folks. Tap water can be a mixed bag with minerals, chlorine, even off flavors that can play havoc with your brew. In coffee making, we're looking for a clean slate, water that lets the true flavors of the coffee shine through. So consider filtered or bottled water for a more consistent result. And let's not forget about temperature. You don't want water that's just lukewarm, nor do you want it boiling hot. The sweet spot is between 195 to 205 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the ideal range to extract the best flavors and aromas from your coffee. So don't overlook the water, it can make or break your coffee experience. With the right beans, the perfect grind and good quality water we're ready to brew. The brewing process is where the magic happens, transforming a simple mixture of water and coffee into a delightful cup of joy. There are several brewing methods to choose from, each with its unique charm. The pour over method, for instance, gives you the driver's seat to control the taste and strength of your coffee. It's all about precision and patience. The French press, on the other hand, is for those who love a robust, full-bodied cup. It lets the coffee grounds steep in the water, extracting a richer flavor. And then there's the espresso, the quick and intense shot of coffee adored by many. It requires pressure to force hot water through finely ground coffee, resulting in a concentrated, bold flavor. Feel free to experiment with these methods and discover what tickles your taste buds the most. Your brewing method of choice can significantly enhance your coffee experience. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for, it's time to enjoy your coffee. The magic of coffee is in the experience of savoring it. Each sip should be a symphony of flavors dancing on your palate, your efforts in selecting the perfect beans, grinding them just right, and tweaking the water and brewing process all culminate in this moment. To truly appreciate the taste of your coffee, try it black first. Let the flavors unfold without distraction. You might discover notes of chocolate, hints of berries, or even subtle floral tones. Once you've tasted the coffee in its purest form, feel free to add milk or sugar to suit your preference. Remember, a great coffee experience is not a one-time affair. Regularly cleaning your coffee equipment is essential to maintain the best flavor. And there you have it, the path to a perfect cup of coffee. Enjoy!